Hello everybody, my name is Lana. I am your mediocre host, and today I started YouTube. What is my YouTube gonna be about? Well, I am a stay-at-home artist, and I by no means make like, oh Fink, what are you eating? Oh, no, give it to me. I was saying, I by no means make like huge profits or anything like that, but enough to get by, and I stay busy enough, and I do a variety of work that's kind of my thing i don't like to just paint or draw or whatever i would burn i sculpt i you know carve i'll do whatever to be creative i thought i would show you my studio which is a mess of it right now actually there's some floor space so it's half decent but i thought i'd show you it as is because that's how it is so normally i do my work here in my tiny messy studio but i haven't oh, Think you're not allowed in here. Go, go. But it's messy and you know cluttered or whatever. So I've moved my studio to the kitchen table. And of course I've got not one bra but two bras because as soon as I get home, off it goes and to the table I am to work. So here is just sort of a snippet of what I do. Um, currently right now painting little wooden ornaments, getting ready for a craft show coming up. Hello, sir. And this week I found these wooden pieces in thrift shops and repainted them. So they were solid wood and I've uh, revamped them. And here, these are some wine boxes that I've also redone. I took out all the labeling on the inside, sanded off the label on the front, and repainted them for sale. I do right now lately has been a rejuvenation I call it so I'll find something that's pre-made like a wooden sculptural piece and then I'll paint it into something new and turn a profit for it so I think this first episode I should take you from step one all the way to completion so off to the thrift shop we go go into the thrift shop the thrift shop the thrift shop I make pierogies, pierogies, pierogies. Well, after I'm done this delicious snack, I'm gonna head to the thrift shop and hopefully I can find something to work with. Right. All right, so I didn't find much in the first stop. Um, I did find this head for $5, which I thought was a little steep. But I'll see what I can do with it. I'm kind of thinking already to put some interesting tattoos, maybe a skull on the hat, obviously repaint all that. So we'll see. All right, off to store number two. So after stopping at two different places, I ended up with these two pieces at $5 each. So $10 spent, and I'm hoping to turn this guy around for 20, 25, and she, well, we'll have to wait and see until I'm done. So I'm back home with my lovely two pieces I will be working on next. So first things first, I will do a base coat to help cover the majority of it, in which I will paint over top. New patterns, new fun designs. Probably won't use these blob floral things. start by outlining the areas that I don't want to paint in black. Black will be my base color of the dress. So I'll outline everything that I don't want colored in black and that way I can use a bigger brush and just, you know, color it all in a lot faster than hand painting with a tiny brush. So I have decided that I'm gonna leave this part white, as well as the kimono sash, or the wrap that goes around, 
because I want to color a nice bright turquoise or yellow or some bright color. So if I paint a base coat of black, it's just gonna be that much harder to get a bright popping color. So I'm just gonna avoid painting it altogether for now. So what I've done is outlined everything in black that I want to keep white, such as the hands and her sash. So now I can go in with the bigger brush and paint all of this, the dress, including the hair. See a white geisha, I want it painted black. Do, 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 do. So we're done our first coat of black, and I think it looks better already. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the base coat for the sash and the umbrella. Now that I've finished the base colors, I'm actually quite happy with it. So it's on to the fun part. Details. So I'm gonna go ahead with the details on the kimono. I don't really have a plan. I'm thinking cherry blossoms, peonies, kind of a floral theme. So see where this takes me. All right, let's start off with the cherry blossoms. Oh, there's one of many. So I love uh, not having a plan and just sort of seeing what happens. And as I was painting these cherry blossoms, um, I thought that they should start to get bigger as they go down the dress. And I really like how it's starting to turn out. So I'll have them flow larger all the way down. It just really helps create movement of the kimono. So the details are done and I am ready to call this thing complete. Take a look. 